Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede Backyard Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. As the title said, um, we are saying goodbye to the coconut tree. Um, what went wrong? I am thinking whenever a disaster passes, we might see something on the outside. You know, like we might see people after the survivor disaster, we might see them, we might think they are okay. We might see a tree, we might think it is okay. But lo and behold, after a major, major disaster in any country, just as human beings are traumatized, even if they may appear to be okay physically on the outside, emotionally they are traumatized. Our plants can also be traumatized, which is the case for the coconut tree and also for my source of tree which passed and you know died. Um, the trees did basically recovered after the hurricane, but we could not see the deeper picture. We could not see the, the problem that was going on on the ground. During the passage of Hurricane Maria, that was some terribly strong wind. So the trees did not only bend, the trees also twist, they bend back and forth and they twist again because the wind was just doing madness. So that is the result of the video for today. Because of the passage of Hurricane Maria, the coconut tree really survived, but it was damaged. It was damaged. I tried my best to save it, but it could not be saved. Um, the tree just basically said it's my time to go, almost after two years after the hurricane. Um, and this might be happening to a lot of trees in Dominica. Um, we might think the trees are okay, but the trees will eventually, some of them may die because they were seriously damaged on the ground and um, they may not be able to recover. So in this video feature, we are going to move this coconut tree. I am not quite sure if I'm going to plant any coconut tree in front of the yard anymore. I might plant it in the back. Um, I was going to plant a source up here, but I already plant one over there. Now I need space for my papaya plants. I've got some papaya plants and papaya needs a lot of sunlight and space to open up and grow. Um, although they don't grow open up like a tree, but they do grow tall. So they need that um, adequate sunlight. So I will be using that area right here to plant a few or transplant a few papaya trees, which is actually growing in my pomegranate pot right now. Here's a picture of it right now. And the tree needs to be transplanted, but I'm waiting for full moon, the evening of full moon to transplant it so that the root can recover quickly, okay? So now in this video feature, as I said, we are going to remove this tree right now. I'm going to clear up this area, you will see that with me, and you will witness me removing that tree, or at least I'm going to attempt to remove it because it's not easy to remove a coconut tree, but I'm going to attempt to remove it, okay? Thank you so very much, let's go ahead. Guys, it's much easier to move than I imagined. It's much easier to move.
Oh, okay. I need to go and visit the gym. I'm tired. Guys, this is it. I want you guys to see it. This is the coconut tree on the nip. As you guys can see right here, this was the main area. And you see it's dried up. It do not look like it got damaged from me cutting it or breaking it through. It's very dry. So it seemed like this was already disconnected. This main area right here. This area is moist. As you can see, it is moist, this area right here. But here now, as you can see, watch closely. It was not just broken. This part right there was already broken long ago. You can see it's so dry. It is very dry. And these, these were the roots trying to keep the tree alive, but they did not work. So this is it, guys. The removal of the coconut tree. From looking at the tree, you can tell that it was starting to really develop and mature well. Look at the consistency here. Here, here, here. And then when it reached somewhere here, it started to, you know, just lose its touch after Hurricane Maria, but that was the consistent part of the tree. It's actually quite light, almost hollow, um, but that is what it is. So in this spot right here, hopefully full moon is around the corner, so I will do a video on transplanting my papaya tree right here. I will clean up this area and develop it, but this is where the papaya tree will be planted, right in this area. So I do hope indeed that you guys enjoyed this video. Not much of a educational video, but more along the line of showing you you know what's going on in the backyard garden and the removal of the coconut tree and guys remember please try your best to start a backyard garden you don't have to start off big but if you've got a small backyard garden just start off in your containers start off planting your lettuce your peppers your basic seasoning like celery parsley um sive simple and then develop into a bigger backyard garden but start something okay i do hope indeed that all my videos that i'm producing for you guys you all are learning something from it whether it's how to do something by asking questions seeing how i would plan something i do hope indeed that you guys are really enjoying and learning from agro so back in garden of course thank you so very much and remember guys the back in garden in some ways will keep the doctors away and agro's way is out jungle bay is reinventing itself this award-winning vacation haven has for over a decade wowed visitors with an authentic caribbean vacation featuring nature, yoga, hiking, spa treatments, and healthy organic cuisine. Rated in Trip Advisor's top three hotels in the Caribbean and the top hotel in Dominica, this leading sustainable tourism model has been able to realize higher than industry average occupancy rates and profits. The new Jungle Bay envisioned by award-winning developer Sam Raphael is set to be bigger and better. Welcome to our new Jungle Bay. Ten years ago, we introduced our first luxury, eco-friendly property, which has become an international sensation. We're excited to invite you to explore a new property, which sits on one of the most scenic areas of the nature isle of Dominica. Jungle Bay has distinguished itself as one of the world's leading sustainable tourism models. The new property will feature 120 luxury eco-villas, two swimming pools, restaurants, a world-class spa, two yoga studios, as well as a gift shop plus other amenities and infrastructure. I also want to point out some construction features that make Jungle Bay sustainable and unique. Our energy comes from the sun, and the stones and other construction material come from the property with little adverse impact on the environment. Jungle Bay family believes in positively impacting the social and economic landscape of the villages around us, and we are always pleased to have our guests participate in that fulfilling experience. We at Jungle Bay are looking forward to hosting our clients again. Our guests choose Jungle Bay for an active vacation, for adventure and wellness, or for a yoga or meditation retreat with a favorite teacher. A typical day at Jungle Bay starts with sunrise yoga, followed by outdoor activities like hikes, kayaking, snorkeling, and other fun activities like a Caribbean cooking class or a drumming class. 
you wind down your day with a relaxing spa treatment and of course a delicious dinner. Our commitment is still to provide a sustainable livelihood to our community while we provide our guests with a world-class experience they will never forget. Come June 1st, 2019, Jungle Bay plans to start welcoming the first of its visitors. For more information, visit our website at www.junglebaydominica.com. We are waiting to give the experience of a lifetime.